Hi, my name's Ollie, and today I'm reviewing the um, VK1200 pen display um, graphics tablet monitor. I'm a graphic designer by trade, I have been for about 30 years. I've tried various different monitors, and I actually own a, a, a big Wacom tablet as well. Um, but this is a um, nice, small, um, just short of 12 inch um, active area um, tablet, and that's the box. Um, top there and this is the box where you get all your uh, bits and pieces in so I've got the uh, it comes with really nice addition is this is two pens which means because this is so portable so small it means you can take this out with you in a bag with your laptop um, it's just got the two cables that plug in you've got one USB cable or a USB-C cable and a um, HDMI cable so this can, with those two table uh, cables, it can just plug straight into your monitor, um, uh, your, your laptop, and you've got a pen you can leave at home. You've got a pen you can take out with you as well. Um, you've got a quick start guide, a uh, welcome card. You've got a little drawing glove as well, and a screen, um, a, a, cloth for, um, a cloth for sorting out your screen instead of cleaning your screen. Um, it all comes with a little bag of, um, well, say a little bag. It comes with a bag of um, different nibs, um, replacement nibs, and a nib removal tool. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I'm talking about probably about 20, maybe 15, 20 nibs in there, replacement nibs, which is good. Um, this is the tablet itself. Um, so it's the uh, Veek, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not totally sure. Um, but it's, it feels um, a little bit like in design to a Apple iPad. It's got a nice flat rounded cornered um, design. It's got some um, little pads on the back here, you know, for gripping on surfaces. So you can just lay it on a desk and um, lean over and draw over it. It doesn't come with a stand, um, so you'd have to either look for a third party stand or see if uh, Vic do one online. I haven't seen one, but that's, that's, uh, that's it. But I think it's, it's small and light enough just to basically hold um, on your lap and, and draw. Um, I mean, this is um, Photoshop that I've got loaded on my computer here. And this is then down as the second monitor. Very easy to set up as a second monitor. Um, what I would recommend is in the monitor, um, so in the, in the um, the app uh, for settings for this that you download onto your PC or onto your laptop. Um, you go into the settings and if you've got multiple monitors set up on it like I do, so I've got like a second monitor, it does what they call monitor mapping. Uh, so it maps your, um, your, your monitor you've got, your second monitor to the tablet display orientation. Um, it was a little bit iffy for me at first because I was drawing and it was drawing where the pen was, where the tip was, um, but it was um, uh, the, the cursor was off up here somewhere. So I was drawing here and it was drawing fine, but for some reason the cursor was floating around up here. As soon as I clicked a little, there's a little button, a little tick box, which says enable Windows ink function. As soon as I ticked that box, everything went okay. The cursor was in the right place. Um, so like I said, this is, um, this is Photoshop, just opened a, a general um, new page. Um, this is a 300 dpi um, page if you're printing uh, so decent resolution and I've done the calibration setup already so when you calibrate you get little crosshairs and what you should do with that is wherever you sat um, whether you're gonna I'm, at the moment I'm sat to one side so you can see this on on the screen um, what you should do is really set this up in the position that you're drawing at so you if you straight over the tablet, do the calibration over there if you're to the side of the tablet do it you know while you're to the side wherever you're going to be sat drawing do the calibration in that position and make sure that you get the uh, the cursor spot on over and this is you know it's really close um there's there is a slight gap um it is did, did say it was a laminated tablet and it, it is um a laminated tablet but there's, there's just there's just a little slight gap there um, underneath you know when you're drawing but it's, it's pretty much bang on um, 
And as you can see, the pressure sensitivity on here, if, if I make sure my hand's out of the way, um, you can draw very, very fine lines and then press on and you've got your thicker, thicker lines there as well. Um, if I just okay, um, delete that. Um, so you, you, it's literally your you, you, uh, battery free pen. Um, you can draw on the screen with this. Um, with the different pressure levels depending on how, how um, much you press on um, so if I just do some quick very rough sketching here past Halloween now but let's do something a little bit um, So you can very easily rough out something on here. Get your rough ideas down first. And then obviously, you know, you can then go back in, you know, in Photoshop, create a second layer, and then, you know, take the opacity down on this. And it works just like you would if you were if you were working on your uh, on your PC. And as I said, it is so small, it's so light, um, feels like a metal frame um, body at the sides um, and at the back. Um, you've got your buttons at the side here. Um, these are default at the moment, so I can. Zoom out with that one, zoom in with that one. That one brings up um, your uh, brush menu there, and shape dynamics. So you can click and hold it, we'll keep it up. You can click it, it takes it off. Um, this button here is you move around. So you can, well, you can move around your image, zoom in, zoom out. This is your brush size, so you can go up, 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 and size of your brush, and then obviously the bottom one. So to be honest, for Photoshop, that is actually set up pretty much how I'd work. Um, So these, these buttons, straight in at Photoshop, straight out of the box, they work. I could use those um, and keep those as they are, um, very, very simply. Um, obviously it's linked to my keyboard as well, so I can just press keyboard buttons, whatever, whatever's on screen comes up on here. Um, so very nice to, uh, very nice to draw on. It's a bit of a matte, finish on the screen which makes it feel more like drawing on paper it's not as slippy as drawing on glass um, So it feels very responsive, very nice feeling, yeah, feel to the tablet. So zoom in, zoom out, move it around, brush size up. Obviously cockling against my uh, my, my desk there but you know I'd, I would normally have it down here on my be being further and have it on my lap and it's, it's nice and easy to draw on and this is just photoshop I mean in, in any program you've got that accepts pressure sensitivity it's really good 
I mean, there are quite a few tablets that I've had previously that straight out of the box. I've had to mess around with Photoshop on settings and various things to get the pressure sensitivity to work. This has worked straight out of the box, plugged in. It works absolutely fine. Um, absolutely no issues at all. Um, I can actually bring down here probably the... So that is the, the driver for it as you can see I've got a, um, a geo monitor set up so that shows my main monitor shows side by side even though they do look squished it will do that and it shows my um, this monitor uh, this class of monitor 2 and now that's mapped to the area of the screen which you can change I don't see why you want to do that because you want it to map to the, the whole area which this is doing um, you've got the your monitor choice here then you've got your um, calibration here, so you click on calibration. You've got your four points and then a centre point. So all you do is click on the centre of these crosses and then the centre of your centre point there and that will, that's absolutely bang on now. Um, is the cursor under the pen, pen tip. So very, very accurate. You've got functions options here. Which is your function keys and you can set those to whatever you like choose choose even the app that you want to set it in so it will change per app as you open the app it will know what app it's in and it will change these buttons accordingly um, your mapping your pen pressure so you can adjust your your levels here in your fall off um, change these your pen arrays and pen click it doesn't have a, an eraser on the end of the pen for this um, but you can choose that you press in um, your button to erase or oh, whatever you like from any of these options down here so it can be it can be a clicker keyboard tablet navigate application um, you can change those um, as you draw you can check out what your pressure sensitivity is like on your pen restore it to defaults um, and that's basically about it for the uh, you can check for updates current versions latest version that's all right which I've just downloaded recently um, it's actually pen settings um, and it is just a very nice pen to draw with I've got no jittery lines or anything I can draw and you get that free free line you know free hand line movement which is great which is what you need for digital drawing you want that you want that look of drawing on real paper with a real pen and you get that that feel as well um so it's uh, all in all it's a it's a very very nice tablet um the the bits you get with it are, are nice as well you've also i didn't mention you get a um what, pen holder you can stick your nibs in there And then you've got a top that screws on to that once you've got your nibs in, which is hard to get out of the box. Tie that slots on top, and that gives you your um, your pen stand with nibs inside. And that can sit in there. So that's a, all in all, it's a it's a very very nice um, looking tablet. Nice feel. You can tell it's got a screen protector already put on it which obviously I think that would peel off um, if you need it need to take it off for any reason um, if it ever gets scratched up you can then um, probably peel this off and apply a new one um, but it's, a, it's a really nice design really nice feel um, and just 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 the look and everything it, it feels like it should be worth a lot more than, than what they are really I think these at the moment on UK Amazon around about £175 um, which for a, for a graphics tablet these days of this kind of quality um, is really impressive um, so that's the Veek um, um, 1200 so it's the VK VK1200 pen display uh, from Veek and yeah I love it I think it's great I'd highly recommend it for anybody probably starting out um, it would be great and just for portability um, if you can get yourself a, a, a cover for this something that you can slide it into pop it into your laptop bag um, I think it would be great for taking around 
and uh, and using portable anyway um, with any of the programs that you've got on your uh, drawing programs you've got on your laptop.